So welcome back. This is a very special episode right here, something we've all been waiting for. So as the title says, we're now installing us a flagpole here on the property. And let me start this episode by saying a huge thanks to our viewers. If it weren't for you, the viewers, we wouldn't be putting this up right now. So with that said, we have some of the most generous viewers I've ever seen in my life. We typically do live streams every Sunday night. And literally a couple of years ago, I don't remember even how it started. We had viewers just randomly start making us categories on their own and making donations to it and we started tracking and following those categories we've already done purchased quite a few things that we've received donations for people constantly build up for large things small things and one of the most recent categories our viewers said hey y'all need to get a flagpole on your property get a flag up we completely agree we're just trying to put it in our priority list y'all started making donations toward that you've completely covered the cost of me purchasing this flagpole flag all the other stuff that you're going to see with the exception of well this tool right here my new concrete mixer i decided to go ahead and splurge purchase that for this project because i have a ton more concrete projects coming up after this one so it's time to pick this up especially when i got it on a killer sale by the way if you're interested in this concrete mixer i'm going to make a separate video uh, showing this off and doing a full review on it. So that's it again that big thank you So the flagpole we're putting in today. I ordered a 30 foot. This is the biggest Multi-section flagpole I could find so I looked around online and this was a veteran-owned business that was important to me I purchased some extra accessories from solar lights uh, Things that help hold the flag straight as you can see it's already a very windy day here right now I'm gonna try to get this up, but today we're gonna dig a hole we're gonna pour the concrete in it, set the uh, first pipe in there that all the flagpole's actually gonna slide and lock into. We need to let this cure about 24 hours, and then tomorrow we'll set the flagpole up. So let's get started, I'm excited about this one. So I, I've decided I'm gonna get me a little exercise, dig this hole with a set of post hole diggers right here. By the time I go hooked up to the uh, tractor post hole digger and all that stuff, I can already have this dug, unless I hit some hard clay. Now the Freedom First Company suggests 18 inches wide, 18 inch deep concrete base for their uh, flagpoles, but they also clearly say if you're in a high wind area, you should go deeper. Well, absolutely. They recommend three bags of concrete and that 18 inch measurement I just gave you. Well, I just went and picked up seven 80 pound bags of concrete because y'all know I love to overdo things. We're gonna dig a much deeper hole than that. I'm more worried about strength this direction, this being Florida. Afternoon pop-up thunderstorms in the summer can literally have 50 and 60 mile an hour winds in them. So I am concerned about the concrete pulling over and out of the ground. Well, I had to go off and open my big mouth. Now I'm hitting hard packed red wet clay that you about can't get off because it's sticky holy holy smokes it's like chipping away at concrete maybe i should have hooked up to the tractor <sighs> dummy that clay is some hard pack stuff so once i pour concrete into that and set the flagpole in it it's not like this is loose sandy ground down there all right so let's fire up this new Yard Max concrete mixer. Again, my first time ever. Let's get some power going over to this. Cringe warning. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Y'all bear with me. We're gonna mix to the consistency. Looks right based on some concrete I've seen in person before. Real important hole. I don't really think you can screw this up. Okay. Ugh. Beautiful. Now 
Now something I'm gonna do since we have such a deep column of concrete right here, I've got some scrap rebar laying around. I'm gonna put several pieces down uh, to kind of help in case this concrete ever goes to cracking on us. Okay, that'll help in case we ever get a lot of tension on the flagpole, concrete cracks in the middle for some reason. Now it's got rebar driven down through the majority of it to help strengthen it. Okay, so the flagpole kit comes with a ground sleeve and I'll admit I'm a bit confused. It's an open-ended PVC sleeve. Well, if you put open end in there, it'll fill full of concrete unless you dig your hole perfectly no deeper than this, bury it in the sand and then pour the concrete around. That's probably what's intended. I would love to see enough well, this looks like three inch PVC cap come with this. So if you decide to do your concrete deeper, like I did, well, there's nothing for this to rest on. So what I did is went and took some heavy duty duct tape, taped the bottom up. I am going to try to get this work down in there. It's gonna take me a minute. So what I'm gonna do is let this concrete harden up for several hours. But while I can still move the pipe around some, I'll come out here in a little bit, we'll record this, put a level on top. More importantly, we'll go ahead and insert the first pole and we wanna check level on that because we have to get everything perfect while we're in that set up and harden phase. If you put this in, it's crooked. Well, when you stick a 30 foot flagpole up, you're really gonna see that you're not plumb at all. And that's not gonna work. Now this kit also comes with a collar, you wanna make sure your PVC is low enough that when you set this down, like again, I think I'm just gonna do some pebbles and rock right here. You wanna make for sure this PVC is low enough because it's, it's actually larger than this size hole right here and you don't wanna push in this up and out. So make sure you get that plenty low enough, but keep it above ground level too so it doesn't constantly fill up with the water. Okay, so it's only been about one hour and this stuff is already setting up well. I can still just barely move the uh, PVC sleeve around. So we're gonna take our first section of pipe here, drop it down in. This is gonna give me the leverage that I need to move the sleeve around. And we're gonna check for level and get this thing perfect. Now is the time to make that happen. Okay, that looks absolutely plumb and perfect. I'm just gonna leave the pipe in there and let this continue to set up. If I keep my puppy off of this, nothing should disturb this. It'll continue to harden up overnight and uh, we'll be ready to set this flag tomorrow. Okay, so it is next day and the concrete is set up well enough that I feel comfortable to go ahead and install this flagpole. And the reason I decided to go with this is I was going to build my own flagpole on the channel out of three inch steel. And when I got to pricing that for my local distributor just for uncoated basic steel pipe, insane like several hundred dollars per 20 foot stick and i had to have a couple of them to build a flagpole on it was going to get insanely expensive so this company makes shippable as you can see it's multiple pieces aluminum flagpoles well, i like the idea of aluminum and i did look around at quite a few companies they have probably the thicker aluminum flagpole out of some of the brands and other uh, comparable companies i looked at online so that made me feel a little better. And they claim that these flagpoles can handle up to 100 mile an hour winds. I hope we never test that and find out. So this is gonna be relatively interesting to put up by myself. I may have to get the tractor and some other things out here to help me. The aluminum's not heavy at all, it's just awkward as long as it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this first pole in the ground. I need to do that because we're gonna go ahead and put some pebbles and stuff down and we need to put our flash collar on. Okay, now I can go ahead and put my flash collar on. Now here's the thing, this kit, well they show in their installation instructions, I was supposed to have a rubber boot that slides down here and keeps water out of this bottom sleeve. I didn't get a rubber collar with my kit. I don't know if they no longer offer that or if it just wasn't included and should have been. So when I'm done installing all this, I'm gonna lift this back up and run a bead of silicone around where this pipe goes inside that PVC sleeve to help keep additional water out. Now I purchased a kit that they have that comes with uh, that flash collar that you just seen. I have got a solar powered light because uh, believe it or not, according to 
you know, flag etiquette, anytime you fly a flag at nighttime, which I plan to do, it's supposed to be illuminated. I wound up getting a whole book on flag etiquette from one of our viewers, Mr. Donald. Also got a little gold ball to go on top. You can order a eagle, whatever you want to go up there. I believe that may be part of this kit too. So you can get basically just a flagpole with some basics or you can get their kit that they're running a special on right now. Again, with that solar light, flash collar, things like that. All right, so I'm gonna get all this apart. You can see all the pipes came in a very small box. They're just one inside the other. They taper down and get smaller the further up you go. And it looks like they're also labeled with numbers so you know what goes where. I got it without dropping it and crushing my light. That thing goes on up there. Good deal. I forgot this this particular flagpole also comes with a little commemorative plaque right there as well. It says Freedom Edition, honoring those that have served. Okay, I purchased this additional weight right here that goes around the flagpole, and it always keeps tension on the bottom of the flag. Thought it would be a good idea to use this piece to make sure the flag's always flying its best and nice and tight. So there, you can see this weight will stay down on the pole and keep the bottom side of the flag tight. I don't know if I have it 100% installed correctly, I'll get all that figured out with time. Okay, so here goes nothing. I don't know that we have quite enough wind today to get this flag to fly properly. But that's okay. We eventually will. All right, it's trying to fly. Looks like I might need to make a few minor adjustments on some tension on that bottom hook and how I have the weight to make that flag fly a little more true. So the one thing I think I don't like is the top does not swivel and we get so much constant changes in wind direction. I wonder how that's gonna be because the flag's flowing a, a very, very odd direction today. We almost never get wind from that direction. Typically it's gonna be going the other direction or this way. That's our most common winds. All right, so realistically, I can spin the pole around to kind of get the direction I want once we start getting like summertime west winds, but I'm gonna look on their website and see if they offer one of those top pulleys that spins around 360 degrees. I could have sworn I've seen that, but that may be on a smaller uh, flagpole that kind of self-retracts. All right, here's kind of a final look at everything. We'll get this area cleaned up. And again, there's eventually gonna be a post right here taken off to a fence. I've got some more gravel I'm about to put out here. We'll keep the weeds killed back. There's a little plaque where you tie off. And all the way up top. While there's no sun today, and I doubt we're gonna get any for several days, they're calling for a ton of nasty cold weather and rain. We're gonna to have to see how well, one, the solar light holds up in all this bad weather and rain that we're getting, 
and we'll see if it somewhat collects enough charge today. See how the flag looks lit up tonight. I may snap a picture on that, but my gut tells me we're probably not gonna charge this light up for quite a while uh, due to all the nasty rainy days I'm seeing on the forecast. So overall, this was a relatively easy install. The, the longest part was just waiting for the concrete to set up. Nothing overly complicated about this at all. I like the way the kit goes together. We're gonna test it. We're gonna see how these, uh, especially summertime thunderstorms that catch me off guard before I can get the flag down. We're gonna see what they do to this pole, if any pieces lift apart, um, if anything bends, breaks, you name it. I'll be sure to update. But, well, I now have a 30 foot flag pole in my yard, something I've been wanting thanks to you, the viewers, and thanks to this company that somehow has figured out how to ship one in the mail. So again, thank y'all so much uh, for the donations for this. This is just as much y'all's flagpole as ours. And a huge thank you for everybody that has fought for and is still continuing to fight for our freedoms and for what that flag truly means. I do not take for granted at all the country that I live in, the freedoms that I have. Uh, I know there's a lot of people around this world that would give just about anything to be standing in my shoes right now. And I'm so thankful and blessed for what we have right here. Catch y'all in the next video.